All right, Coach, congratulations on the win. 13-1 uh, to 1 win over Seattle U today. Um, what are some thoughts after today's win? Well, we came into today um, talking about it was going to be about energy, excitement, attitude, uh, mindset day, really, because it's a uh, both teams are coming out of a three-game weekend, some hard-fought games. Um, so it's a matter of who wants to be there the most. And um, I know our guys always are excited to play baseball, and it kind of showed today. And I think we kind of overwhelmed them with our energy. And, and I keep telling them, we are a really deep team. So on games ones and twos of series, we might not be better than the guys we're facing. But if you wear people down and keep playing, I think by game three and four games in a row, you, we we have guys we can go to. I mean, we used 15 guys today, a lot of guys out of the pen, and we still have people we didn't even use that we count on a lot. So should should teach them a lesson that if we keep showing up with energy, we might be able to overwhelm some teams. And obviously watching these two guys perform today was a pleasure. The offense wasn't necessarily there um, last week against Nevada. Uh, what changed heading into this game? I, I think we started to show up pretty good yesterday. We had some good at-bats. Um, and we're starting to show some signs of coming to life. But we've really just kind of focused on winning our individual battles one at a time and kind of promised each other on Saturday night we'd stop being so easy to get out as best we can. And the tougher the outs are, you wear them down. And that, that kind of showed over the last two days for us. Mike, three for three today, two home runs, um, your second game in your career where you have a multi-home run game. Um, you know, what, what has changed into this game? You know, coming in to this game, you're three of 20 at the plate. Um, I wouldn't say struggling, but, you know, not getting the hits where you want them to. Um, what changed today um, mentality-wise? Yeah, I mean, I, I felt like at uh, the start of the, start of the season, I was swinging the bat well, just not falling for me. But I was trusting the process today and uh, trying to stay above the ball, which is funny. Uh, stay above the ball, hit home runs, I guess. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just continue to trust the process, trust in the coaches, and uh, capitalize on the opportunities that I had. Gabe, okay, stellar start today, four innings, gave up nothing. Um, coming into this game, uh, you know, knowing that the team, you know, needed you to perform well um, on the mound, uh, what was your mentality heading to this game? Yeah, I was just ready to go, and I, I felt great. It's always super fun to throw to Mike, and um, when we have a plan, it's, it's just go time after that. So um, I felt good. We were ready to win this game. How much easier uh, was it for you today, um, knowing that you came in with a lead um, in every inning that you were pitching? Uh, we always talk about shutdown opportunities. It makes it so much harder on the other team to come back from that kind of inning that we have, pretty much. So the faster I can get outs, the faster we get back to hit, and we can do our job on the offensive side. Coach, you mentioned you are a deep team. Um, like you said, 15 guys came up to pay, uh, came up to play today. Um, you know, what did you see from the guys who you know may not get opportunities uh, later in the year? Anyway, I don't know who will or won't yet. That's what we're trying to find out in the process. And I hope we're good enough that this is the way we're going to be for a while. You know, everyone getting out there, getting a chance. I mean, it's it's really unprecedented for me. Any team I've been around, like when I pinch hit somebody. The first guy over to the guy coming in from is the guy who's coming out and high fives him and says, go get him. So it's not really fake here. It's a high level of trust in each other, pulling the rope. But I mean, I don't know. We do have to settle into some roles eventually because we won't have four game weekends. There'll be three. But right now, we're still in that process. But guys like Asim, Shea hustling into an infield single, diving through the bag in a 10 run game should explain a lot about what these guys are trying to do. They're just playing with real high energy and just truly love the game of baseball. You completed the first eight games uh, at home in this season. I know it's early, but what's your assessment of the team so far? Yeah, it's been you know it's been up and down a little bit, um, but not what we didn't expect. I mean, for the most part, they've been tight games, hard fought battles, and it's nice to play at home. But I'm really excited about getting on the road with these guys. I think the first road trip is always fun. It's, uh, as tight as they are, you buy you buy bind even tighter when you get on the road and. Um, kind of experience being the only people pulling for each other in a stadium and things like that. So uh, we're excited to get out there and have a different venue. You mentioned the road. Um, next series on the road at Bakersfield, uh, four game set. Uh, what can you take from either this game or even the last series uh, heading into that series? Yeah, I'm hoping, you know, that some of these at bats like Mike and Matty Fung's been hitting the ball hard. A lot of guys are starting to feel more comfortable in the bo uh, the box and it takes time to trust the plan and just buy into what's going on. Like even in Mike's case, um, the reason he's staying in the lineup is I thought Friday and Saturday he had great at bats, didn't have results really, but the way he was taking pitches, the walks that he drew, um, you start to see it from some guys. So 
Um, we do need a day off. We need to rest. We need to recover. But I, I really like um, how the bats are starting to come together. And pitching wise, it's been a it's been really a benefit to be able to have so many people pitch. So um, Gabe, we have a lot of versatile guys. Gabe was up getting hot in the pen yesterday um, to possibly get that save. And for what Hazel did yesterday for us was allow us to have Gabe available to start today. And that's what we mean by being kind of a chain of pitchers. So he, Hazel might have won us that game, this game today by keeping Gabe available to start this one. And if you look at it like that, you really become a team.